The sudden resignation of Steve Jobs as Apple's CEO has left the company's many admirers wondering. Without his demanding, visionary influence, where will Apple's next revolutionary product come from? And how did he do it so well for so long? We asked Ben Tracy to find out. When employees arrived for work today at Apple's California headquarters, it looked as though nothing had changed, but everything has. Thank you very much. Steve Jobs was much more than the company's CEO. He was its CPU, its central processing unit, the brain of the computer. Brian Cooley is editor at CNET. Jobs runs that place in a singular fashion with a singular vision that is pretty fearless. He's okay saying no to a lot of things. That's a unique quality. iPhone is like having your life in your pocket. Jobs reportedly rejected the first two versions of the iPhone until his team got it right. It's the ultimate digital device. It's always been about the details. Jobs dropped out of college, but not before taking a calligraphy class. It gave him his love of fonts and design, signature elements of his computers. The misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers. Jobs practiced what he preached, thinking different. Products had to be easy to use, easy on the eye, and work like magic. He once said, people don't know what they want until you show it to them. Steve Jobs has a certain amount of taste and a certain amount of foresight that has driven the new products every year. You like everything so far? Well, I'll try not to blow it. Jobs never did blow it. He revolutionized the music industry, redefined the telephone, and with the iPad, created a new way to use computers. It's unclear just how hands-on Steve Jobs has been here at Apple lately. He's been on medical leave since January. The company's product line is thought to be set for the next year and a half. So the question is, after that and without Jobs, what's next? Steve Wozniak was Jobs' partner in creating Apple. He was always thinking about those great people that drove humanity to a higher level. People like Shakespeare, like um, you know Isaac Newton. Who, like Steve Jobs, created something revolutionary with an apple. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Cupertino, California.